Canes fans, what up, what up, what up? Great night to be a Miami Hurricane. I'm going to make this real brief because it's Thursday night. Real, real brief. I'm just going to give you a hot take. One, great crowd tonight. I wasn't able to make it to the game because I'm halfway across the country. But I'm going to try to get down there to tailgate versus FSU. Um, but great night tonight. Great crowd. Looked like it was a beautiful night in Miami. You know, in, in a city where you're competing with no less than four professional sports teams within like a 20 mile radius of you and in a city where there's literally always something to do. Yeah, that was a great showing. Great support from from uh, Hurricanes fans tonight in the Hard Rock Stadium looking beautiful as usual. It's not the Orange Bowl, but still, you know, it's home. Um, Mark Rick creating some storyline, not letting anybody know who his starting quarterback is going to be, generating interest in the media and, and waiting until the last minute, I, you know, and to minimize the drama. Uh, you know, I, I kind of like that. Um, and a great start for Nikozi Perry. Overall, great start. Redshirt freshman came in. The offense just looks different. They look energized. They just look, they just play better. They look different. Like, they've got a genuine quarterback. Enough respect to Malik Rozier, but he's a baseball player. He was a stopgap. He did what he needed to do to create a bridge between Brad Kaya and what we have now in Nikozi Perry. And uh, let the let the Nikozi er Perry era begin. And let's you know let's let's here here's to it being a successful tenure for Perry at quarterback for the U. Um, just. His touch, his ability to distribute the ball, his pocket awareness, it's all there. The kid's got all the gifts. As long as he gets developed right and, and gets put in good situations by the coaches, his ceiling is, is so high, man. It's so high. Um, to the running game. Running game was on fire tonight. Coaching staff, I think they realized that running in, in between the tackles is a no-go because they tried that out in the, in the beginning of the game and they weren't getting nothing and it was looking like it was going to be slow in the first quarter. Then they utilized the speed of Homer and Dallas and started running out into the perimeter. Design plays to get the running backs to the outside and they were breaking big plays, big runs. Monster game for the, run, for the, for the running backs tonight. Um, and... Uh, Red zone, red zone offense looked good, and we were converting on first. On, we were converting on third downs, something that we've been struggling with uh, since the end of last season. So that's that actually we we've been, we were struggling with that all last season, and and uh, and this season up until last week. So that's that's good, and and, and we know why. We know why that is. Um, the defense, monster, monster game for the defense. This was a defensive win tonight. Kudos to them. Creating six turnovers and like I think 20, 20, 21 points on turnovers. A monster game for the defense. Um, and the turnover chain came out six times tonight. And anytime the turnover chain comes out that much, it's probably going to be a win. Great night for the defense. Always great to see the turnover chain on multiple occasions. How sweet it is. Um, things that need to be improved upon. Well, Nikozi had a couple of freshman hiccups. He turned the ball over twice. Luckily, the defense shut it down, and, it, and, and UNC didn't score any points on those turnovers. Those are freshman mistakes. Those are going to be it, – that's it's got to be expected. He's going to have those. This was his first start. But overall, overall, he played a good game. But those are the two hiccups. Um, and then again, with the offensive line, I mean, it is what it is. Running between the tackles is, 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 is probably, you know, it's, it is what it is. But they, but they played better. Kudos tonight. They look good tonight, okay? And this is an ACC opponent. UNC can put up points. And they do have a couple of uh, good players on their defensive line, so good on them. Um, the defense, one thing they could work on, they gave up too much yards on the ground. That first drive, when UNC drove the ball to score their first, uh, their first uh, field goal, they made it look too easy. I was thinking, well, this is going to be a competitive game, man, because uh, these guys can run. And I, 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 they already came into the game this week. I was already thinking, well, UNC could score a lot of points. So you know, I thought that it was going to be, you know, some, uh, a little higher, a higher overall score than what it was because 
just judging by what they did, they've done the past couple of weeks, they can score. They don't have any defense, but they can score some points. Um, then, uh, you know, the, the special teams, man. But well, oh, well, anyway, with the defense, they look good overall. They just gave up too much yards on the ground. Uh, they, they gave up too much, and they, they got to have to work on that. Especially next week, uh, FSU, they got some studs in the backfield. So we need to work on that. Um, <sighs> special teams, man. That punt getting blocked, that's a no-go. That is a no-go. Doesn't reflect. Ref reflects very poorly on the special teams coach, on, on, on Harley, even though he can coach some tight ends. But we still got to work on that, guys. Still got to work on that special teams. Uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, extra points. Though that's very important. That can win and lose you football games. That that that's uh that was a blemish on the game tonight. Then uh, last injuries, seeing Shaq Quarterman go down, but he was able to walk off the field. He rolled his ankle. I got to look up see what happened with the uh, X rays if they were negative or not. Um, hopefully they are. But Shaq is a real tough kid, and he can play through pain. And sometimes they can make it worse. And it was good on the coaches getting him off the field and making him stay off the field because he would have played more if he if he if they would have gave him the chance. Um, but we need him. We need him to just chill out, rest, let the training staff take care of you, and then you come back strong next week. And I think somebody else got hurt too. I think it might have been Langham. I have to read. I have to get on the. I have to get on on uh. Look up the Kane's website. Check up the the uh, the injury reports, the injury reports. But other than that, it was a good game. Good night. Good night to be a Miami Hurricane. Good game. Forty-seven to ten. Just like you know, may, they maybe they could have scored more points. I think in the beginning of the third, Mark Rick was kind of taking it easy. He started to play the clock. Looked like he didn't want to run it up, but you know they scored another. You know they scored another another seventeen points in the second in the second half. So, you know against UNC. So on to FSU next week. Hopefully we had the same result. Win is a win is a win. You know the crowd is going to be heavy out there. Um, yeah. All right, Canes fam. Hey, look, it's real brief. I just give y'all a little hot take of what I thought about the game. Uh. I'll be hitting you guys up, seeing you guys next week. And uh, you guys have a good night. Later.